What's up guys, Parker here with a really exciting update. Recently, BIElite.com went live, and on that website, I am putting my YouTube report for you to click around with. So this YouTube report uh, is basically made up of all the data that the YouTube channel brings in. So go ahead and go to BIElite.com, go down to the section called Try It, and you'll see this report where you can click through and see basically how the channel is doing with subscribers, views, revenue, even all that data. You can uh, just go click through, slice through, and see if you can find any insights for me. Maybe you can tell me about them. But uh, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of this report and what you can kind of see with it. But I really do implore you to go over to BIElite.com, check that out. Uh, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to Miguel Escobar over at Powered Solutions. He put together this awesome YouTube custom connector that I'm currently showcasing in this video. Um, so it's, it's really an awesome connector that did a lot of the work for me, a lot of that data gathering. So I will go ahead and take you through a little bit of this report. So you can go ahead and maximize it in case you want to see um, the report on a larger scale. So I'm employing this uh, slicer panel over here. It's actually a bookmark panel, a really cool trick that a lot of people have been showing off lately. So you have these five different screens that I have all this data in. This first one is called channel B. It's basically just the overall uh, pulse of the YouTube channel. So you've got the uh, subscribers, views, and videos up top. And then you also have this, uh, this slicer for the different metrics that you want to show on this graph right here uh, with a little forecast at the end. So if you want to see subscribers or views or revenue, uh, you can click on any of these slicers. And these slicers are going to show through all the pages. So if you want to go to the second page where you want to view the day of the week analysis, like sometimes I want to see how am I doing on Saturdays um, compared to previous Saturdays, you can just go ahead and select that day and see really how you're doing. Um, so it's pretty pretty dynamic and that's basically two of the screens. Let's go ahead and get rid of Saturday, bring you on to video analysis. This is another one I like to look at. Um, basically see how my videos are doing by topic. Uh, take a look at some of my videos that have the word dynamic in the title. These will be my top videos by views for uh, any topic with dynamic and you can see you have these large spikes on days where I release a video that has the title of dynamic but you can see the overall trend is going upwards um, similarly if we were to look at subscribers we see that it looks like their trend is going upwards too so it's pretty cool you can also search by title so if you had something specific in mind like let's say you wanted to do something with embed I have one video called Dynamically Embed a Web Page in a Power BI Report. So you can click on that one and it'll filter everything down to there. You see I've gotten so many subscribers from this and um, so many views from it. Uh, and you can see the trend of that. There's also a little thumbnail up here and um, a direct link to go watch this YouTube video. So that's cool. If you just want to actually, like, What's a if you just want to cruise through the channel, you can actually do that from the Power BI Report. So that's pretty cool. Um, there are a couple other screens here. You can take a look at it. Uh, one is the geography analysis uh, where you can kind of see how maybe your country is doing based on subscribers. And actually, you can't do subscribers. You can do views, revenue, and um, views, revenue, and retention. Unfortunately, YouTube holds back a lot of subscriber like comment data um, for specific or for countries in general uh, for data anonymization. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and click through. Uh, let me know what you like of this report. Let me know if you think it's pretty usable or if you have any feedback for me. I'd love to hear it. Uh, so if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and go ahead and check out BIElite.com. I will see you in the next video.